Uh, let's uh, move on to uh, the Archbishop of Wokebury, uh, Justin Welby. Uh, he's got a special knighthood from the King uh, because, uh, well, not because, but this is what his reward, I assume, for slamming government migrant policies uh, and woeful wokery. I mean, this guy, this is the guy that wanted to vandalise Canterbury Cathedral by taking out uh, statues that were linked to slavery. He's had graveyards strung up because they were music hall performers, uh, long dead, who used to uh, wear blackface when they performed. This is the guy. And, and why does the Archbishop of Canterbury need a mm. New Year honour? Why did the King spend so much time honouring people who've already been honoured? How about a yeah. few other deserving people? I agree 100%, because you look at the honours that go to the little boy, for example, Tony Hudgel, who absolutely deserved every, every bit of that honour. And then you've got the Archbishop of Canterbury, who apparently has been rewarded for carrying out his job right. in the coronation. Now, you can try and imagine the king yes. coming to him saying, would you, you know, coronate me? And him going, no, I'm busy that day. Right. Yeah. You know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going what, to the football. What actually. I don't understand is this is a man who already comes with a palace, with staff, with arguably more bling than P. Diddy, mm -hmm. the honor honorific of right reverend, and yet he is supposed to embody the humility of mm -hmm. Christianity, and now he's getting another title. Yeah. It just doesn't seem he's like got it an makes extremely sense. Extremely slick uh, communications yeah. uh, office, uh, which I uh, understand uh, is about to become much slicker for reasons uh, that we won't go into. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just stop honouring these people who've yeah. already been honoured. It's pathetic. And by the way, if our honour system is to mean anything at all, we've got to stop giving 80% of them to people who are in showbiz. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's, Pe how about people who really deserve it? Rather Other than, than James Whale, uh, who's in showbiz Apart. really deserves it, can I just He's on say. talk TV, that's not showbiz. Uh, but yeah, congratulations to James yes. Well. But James didn't have uh, the MB he fully deserved, so it's about time he got it. But mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, I think this was a laughing stock of a list. I really do. The people that actually got honoured, many of them had honours already, yeah. so we just up, put them up the ladder a little bit more. I, I have a big problem with, you know, 26 clergy sitting in the House of Lords with that much power anyway, voting as a block. You know, we've got Justin the Lord's Welby. Spiritual. The Lord Ridiculous spiritual, name. who opines on all government utterances, usually completely anti to what the everyday person in the country oh, feels. I would have, I'd have no problem with the church having a, a significant voice in the House of Lords if they actually followed the teachings of Jesus and didn't just rewrite <laughs> bit, it in a, a world of woke. That's a bit controversial.